Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this has been your True Nerd, and welcome back to Rome Total War, where last time, well, I think we did some very good work against the Julii in general. We are pushing them back aggressively, and today we're making what is probably a bit of a mistake, which is Lentulus Brutus, who has done a very good job acquitting himself so far, but the army he's with is scruffy, it's not the best army we've got by a long, long way, and yet it's the army that's in the most danger. It's pushed well behind enemy lines by sneaking through this little pass here in the Alps. And he has made his way here to Alessia, where, well, <laughs> we probably shouldn't attack this place, because, yeah, basically it's just opening myself up to a border with uh, two British cities, probably fairly major ones by now. Actually, that's only a town. It must have been draining this place for war bands and whatever all the time. But over here, this is... Oh, it's also a town. Okay. Maybe Britain aren't quite as good as I'm expecting. This is... That's only a large town. Britain don't actually have any... No! Britain don't have any cities actually on the continent. I mean, they've got, um... Yeah, they've got Londinium, which is definitely a city. Up here, that's... That's a town. And that's... Oh! Britain's infrastructure is way more basic than I thought. That's interesting. If I can just cripple a few armies, then I think one of my modern armies could basically just go through mopping up the British. Pretty quickly, I don't really need them to, but if I had to, I most certainly could. And would you believe, actually, this reinforcement army that was supposed to actually just help relieve a Quincum might actually be in an excellent position to just go over here and deal with these bastards, because it's not the best army, but Spur is the ugly. We might well be needing you yet. Yes, we'll have to have a think about that. But first, no, 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 let's focus over here for a second, because, yes, Lentulus Brutus, who had his R. Oh, his flipping, uh, yeah, his heroic victory, his famous battle right here on the bridge of Lentulus Brutus beating Captain Aulus. And she has an opportunity to take Alessia. But after he does, um, yeah, he's going to be a little bit on the surrounded side. But we'll get to that when we deal with it because Alessia, fascinating town. Barbarian with Roman stone walls. You don't do this very often. Let's get in there and take it out. So all we've got to take out here is 300 men, almost full strength, early legionary cohort and some prank pairs. Perfectly manageable. So here is something indeed you don't see very often. We have got, yeah, a stone wall around a barbarian settlement, which looks, I think it looks really cool. I mean, it still works. It's a bit more kind of uh, bobbly and with sticky out bits than a normal wall, but it does actually work pretty nice. I think it actually looks pretty damn cool. So yeah, we've got an extremely barbarian settlement here. Basically, everything's in the barbarian style. The archer range, the great market. Is there a single... Roman style building here. I do not think so. Looks like maybe when the Romans took over, it was already pretty much as fully built as it can be. And since then, they've never actually let it get finished off. So, that's nice. Ooh, nice big forest over there. I like the big dark forest over there. Those are cool. But yeah, we've got this rather cool little place right here. So, all we need to do is break in. Luckily, I've got a ton of siege equipment, so this should not be that bad. And once we're in here, actually... It's going to work pretty nicely. That is a proper... That's a proper weaponsmith right there. There's a proper Hall of Heroes. I can actually do some decent repairs here, especially with that archery range down there as well. So, get my siege equipment dotted around here. The nice thing is, I'm pretty sure the judo have to leave one unit on the plaza, so therefore they can't have everything on the walls. So we'll start off and... Oh! They've decided to have nothing on the walls. Okay. Interesting. Also, where are you? Hang on. Where's that guy? <laughs> yeah, they're just... Okay! Julia, whoever's in command here, not doing a spectacular job. They've got no one on the plaza at all, and some people just over there. Well, in that case, uh, hang on, we may as well just get you guys in, because I think you've got the safest approach. Done, nice. Just speed this up then. If you're not going to bother defending the walls, that's fine. Yep, onto the walls unopposed. Well, in that case, uh, run this way, take ourselves some towers, see if we can actually get certain damage on these guys. I suspect if we're lucky, we might just be able to get a few hits on them. Yeah, might just got a few hits there at the end. Fine. Go over here, take ourselves uh, these, and yeah, we don't need the rest of the siege equipment. Nice and easy. It's a shame, really. The Judah have just thrown away their best chance there, because I actually don't have a full-strength unit of heavy infantry, whereas they do have a basically full-strength unit of early legionaries. So if they just put them on the walls, they wouldn't have been able to win, but they would at least have been able to do a fair bit of damage to me. And at the end of the Battle of Alessia, it started to rain rather worryingly for the Julii. Now, I've set up a rather interesting trap, a bit more interesting than usual. So obviously, I've got my frontline infantry here, guard, mode, fire at will, etc. I've got my archers behind them to draw these guys in. But I've also got a whole bunch of, just kind of hidden, hidden behind the hill over there, a whole bunch of cavalry right here. 
So this cavalry is basically going to wait until these guys both run forward and then they're going to charge in and close the trap. So, all you need to do here is have one unit fire over onto you, one unit fire onto, actually, you know what, two on the, the illusionary, one onto the prinky pairs. Uh, where are the prinky pairs? Prinky pairs, there we go. So these guys now just start firing up there and because we're targeting both of them, they should both leave the plaza. Now, as soon as they both decide to come over here and try and attack me, the horses will just swing in behind them, and we should have a very nice, easy victory. Even easier than usual. Looks to me like the Prinkipes are heading in first, but they're not 100% sure just yet. Luckily, my archers just keep drawing them in further and further and further, and very soon they will enter Peeler range, and then they will be destroyed. There we go. They've entered Peeler range, and having entered Peeler range, they will now be... Yep. Very quickly torn apart. They can't stand up to properly heavy infantry. And indeed, yep, round the back here, we've already got the early legionaries coming in. So all archers, focus on the early legionaries. Make sure they get in here. And now as soon as they actually get up to us... No, come on. Draw them in, draw them in. That's right. Shoot them in the back. Lovely. As soon as they get involved in the fight, I will simply send the cavalry in. And they will just slam into them and we'll be in good shape. Right, at this point, guys, you can probably just get out of here... And simply kind of charge into these guys. Everyone out of formation. Just get in there and murder everything. The archers are probably actually doing more damage to my guys than to anyone else. Ah, here we go. Right. In which case... Oh, we just killed the leader as well. I hope that didn't make them break. I actually want them to break. Right. Round the back here. Round the back. Round the back. Round the back. Uh, guys, if I just tell you to go over here. Will you go the sensible way? You're going to do the sensible route? Yes, you're going to do the sensible route. Marvellous. Now... My cavalry just thunders up the hill here. My guys are taking a knot, but at the Hall of Heroes, we will retrain them. That's nice, isn't it? That sounds way better than just kind of Legion barracks. We've got a flipping Hall of Heroes. What we need to do now, send our cavalry round here, over here. We hold this now, slam into them, and in a moment, come on, round the corner, round the corner, round the corner, round the corner. Slam into the rear of them. Come on, guys. And in a second, lovely. That was not really a charge, was it? No, there wasn't quite the charge I was hoping for, but never mind. Right, let's get the archers out of there at least. Those guys are, yeah, they've broken. Fine and nice, easy victory. You know what? I'm going to let them surrender on this occasion. Surrender and you will be allowed to just be reintegrated into society as honest Brutii citizens. Lentilus Brutus is a merciful man. Not that merciful, mind. He's still going to exterminate the place, but, you know, that's fine. So, we have got ourselves Alessia, a very, very barbarian town, but rather conveniently, yes, it can indeed train early legionary cohorts, it can train archers, and even better, thanks to the Sacred Circle of Abnoba, I can indeed get missile weapons up to rank 3. Very, very good indeed. I could probably merge some of the army together to save myself a bit of, ooh, not that much, mind. Uh, actually, there's relatively little I can merge together, because they'll be eliminated. Um, I can get, okay, I can get those up, that's fine. I can repair you, that's nice. Repair the infantry. The infantry is important. Repair the cavalry, because cavalry does save you a lot. Next, get the... Oh, the auxilia too. Okay, fine. Now, next up, yeah, repair you, even though it's only one. Yeah, get the archers retrained, because I suspect we're going to come under siege very, very quickly here. He is, however, and this is good, he's a superior defender. Given he will actually have to do a bit of defending. There's a nice little bit of uh, green down here on the map now, yeah. We've suddenly got, you know what, we're making some good impact on the Julian territory. We're pushing in pretty quickly. This all works for me. Can we even build anything good here? We can, uh... Ah, this is fun. Uh, so technically there is actually an arena here and also public baths and an academy. But because it's a barbarian city, there's no spot for them. So they don't show up on the battle map, therefore. Because barbarian cities don't actually have a spot for that sort of thing. So therefore it's just not there. Now, next question. Do I want the army in Marseille to start moving? We've also got our new spy here. Yeah, let's just get more spies going round and about. We need as many spies as possible to keep an eye on what's going on here. So, send a spy over there. Fine. So, now we've got a spy inside Narbo Martius. Lovely. And, yeah, we've got more people around here. Servius Julius, just a family member. I still don't know where their bloody faction is. He's hiding somewhere like a big old coward. But I can't for the life of me find the man. He must be, like, way over here in one of the Spanish cities or something, but for the time being, at least, Numeria Sulla, it's definitely not, no, it's not you. Don't know where the faction leader is. I'd kind of like to murder him. I feel like I really ought to be doing this. You know what? I'm, like, way up there. I might be. Who knows? He's hiding from me. 
He doesn't dare lead his own troops against me, the bloody coward. I mean, we've got the factionaire there. He's sent, like, his own son, Julianus Julius. These guys love Julianus Petunia so much. Everyone is just called Julius. Like, people, even the people who are called Julianus, they just get renamed Julianus Julius. Like, they would rename themselves Julianus Julianus if they could get away with it. That's how much they love Julianus Vatinius. Yeah, we need to move the army forward a little bit here. So the army of Marseille ideally does need to move forward. Uh, hopefully Marseille is going to be fine with me doing this. I mean, honestly, we pretty much need all of it. So I'm going to move all the army out here. Now, how... Ooh, you're pretty bloody angry about that. Right, get some reinforcements coming in and get the spare parts army into... Okay, the spare parts army is enough to settle Marseille for now. That's all right. And also just get training some new people here. Some basic core infantry would not be the worst thing in the world. And retrain these guys as well. Yeah, there we are. Now the spare parts army is partly retrained. That's actually pretty useful. Now, you just hang out on the bridge in case anyone comes for you. But yeah, I think ideally, probably at this point, we need to actually get Alessia joining to the Empire. If we could just take Lugdunum, that'd be pretty damn solid. Meanwhile, over here in North Italy, just keep pumping out the troops. If you just keep pumping out the troops, then potentially, yeah, it might be nice to go and take Yuvavum off the British. Because I just wouldn't mind. Yeah, that would just be another good boundary. Because I know they're a bit too close to Batavium. If I take Yuvavum, then can put another army up here on this kind of gap here. And then we could just say this river is the logical boundary at that point. And I feel like the Empire is a more pleasing shape. Admittedly, Alessi is massively overexposed, but we'll just have to keep a large force there. Just make sure that place stays safe. Now, down with the Scipiones. Now, this is fun. Thapsus has only one person here, Tertius Manlius. And I have got a decent quality assassin, so... Ah, that's a shame. No, I'm not going to do that. It's too much of a risk to my own assassin. And this guy's... Yeah, this guy's actually pretty damn good. So that guy must just have, like, a paranoid trait on him or something. Yeah, so unfortunately, there's not much we can do there. A few more forces coming into Carthage. But at this point, I feel like, yeah, the force that was trying to take Carthage, we've broken its back. These guys are now going to kind of just come in like bit by piece and we'll just basically take them apart. But over, hang on, over here in this fleet, Oppius Victor is coming in with a decent army. I think these guys are getting them over here. We're just going to sail straight past them and take Kurter out right under their noses. Marvellous. But as we can't take Thapsus that way, we'll just have to do it the traditional way. Now, if you'd like to come and try and relieve the city, can you make it over? Yeah, you can make it over here nice and easy. So we'll just move you to here, to here, to here. Fine. Now, just build what we need. Whole bunch of siege equipment built there. If these guys want to come and attack me, they're welcome to, because then it just takes them off the field. It'll be a nice, easy battle anyway. And over here, yeah, we've got more forces coming in from this direction. But that's old school stuff. And Lepkis Magna, we're flipping Gaius the Harshest, yeah. You know what? We've got something coming for him as well. Oh, also, people have been saying in the comments, John, John, one of the boats besieging Spain has a full stack army in it. John, John. No, it doesn't. It's got an army. Um, The army is 66 equites. Honestly, I don't think it's going to go, like, you know, taking out any of the Spanish cities. There's just, like, some equites. I think they retreated into this boat after the failure at Lepkis Magna. I think that might be who that is. But, uh, yeah, don't worry too much about that. Oh, I've got bad news for the flipping Parthians as well. Just finally got a spy around this way, and yeah, their final town in this area is not looking so hot. They've already lost uh, this area over here. They've already lost Osakia. But uh, yeah, their final town down south is obviously they've still got up here, and this area up here is extremely well got. They will be able to hold on to that, but yeah, this town is looking flimsy. I mean, they've got <laughs> they've got the faction leader. Unfortunately, he's um, Thuxra the Mad. Which is probably not a good trait, to be honest. And he has just got some crappy mercenaries and peasants guarding him. So, uh, things not looking too hot for him. But admittedly, the force actually attacking him looks pretty bloody weak as well. So, who knows? Maybe he'll still hold out. Right, I think that's just about everything I can do this turn. So, time to end the turn and see mainly what the Julia are going to do in response. Because they've still got some decent armies floating around here. But yeah, with Alessia captured... And another army standing on the bridge here with Marseille taken. How exactly are the Julii going to try and respond to all of this? So Julii have, yep. Yeah, unsurprisingly, one big force is headed up to here, to Alessia. We're going to have to see if we can take them on. Looks like, ooh, the Senate looks like they're on the move as well. Hang on. And, ooh, we've got some bloody pirates that we can't actually take out. Okay, send one of the fleets over there to take care of that. Nothing major. Uh, now, betrothed, confident commander, age 40. No, we can do without you. Find someone better, please. 
So, Alessia is under siege, faction announcement, somebody's wife has died, uh, someone's getting a dancer, just an agent somewhere, fine. Nothing major there. Ooh, Julianus the Killer has picked up an artist. Good, we should capture his noble aspect. That is very, very important. Now, the reason I've just trained a whole bunch of spies over here in all of these cities in northern Italy is basically... I don't really have great visibility of what's going on in Britain right now, so basically I'm just going to send a whole bunch of spies in that direction to figure out what's going on over there. So all those three spies are just going to basically plant themselves around the British Empire just to keep an eye on things. Now, the force has just attacked me here. It is, ah, it's the bastard Julianus Vitendius, the fake Julianus Vitinius. Well, I would say we finally get a chance to get some revenge on him, though, well, it's retrained now. It is better. It's not perfect, but... We've got a whole bunch of archers and a whole bunch of cavalry. And I'd normally say at this point, well, I can weaken these guys, but I can't defeat them. But in all fairness, in Rome, if you've got some cavalry and some archers, very often you can just flipping win, yes. Now, before we get into that, what's going on down south here as well? We've got, ah, a whole bunch of people have just tried showing up. Um, so if I actually began the siege right now into Thapsus... Then I think the army on the yeah the army on the far side would be able to get involved. But what actually are they? They're nothing major to be honest. It's just actually it's a huge number of triarii for some reason. Lots of triarii, a few equites, basic old stuff. I mean it's got some good experience, so like it's pretty tough. But I would say we're probably ah, but it's on the very far side of the city because I'll get to draw up on the battle map. Like in this sort of a shape, and they'll be over there. So it'll be quite difficult for me to get to them. I might actually just leave them, just like one more turn, just to see what's going on. Also, Marcellus Brutus, I thought you were... Ah, yes, I remember, of course. You've got the ridiculously high morale, that's why you're here. Because you have got the soothsayer, and you are reverent, which is great. So as a result of that, yeah, you're really good on the morale front. So your troops can be trusted to stand their ground. Well, you know what? If they want to hang around here, they're welcome to try hanging around here. You know why? Because their faction leader is pretty much still unguarded. And the reinforcements are here, and they're not keen on what happened to Captain Bloody Nero. So Lepkus Magna now under siege, five rams in production. In fact, actually, I'm amazed I can't just walk in because they haven't actually repaired the wall yet. They presumably can't actually afford to do so. So we should just be able to go in here and, yeah, get our revenge. Because this army, this army's ready to do it. Good old Tiberius Mycenaeus. Ready to go. Relatively inexperienced. Ooh, even better. He had himself some hoplites. There you are. Have some extra hoplites, my good man. And this army will never get there in time. Publius the Mad is trying to relieve the faction leader, but he will never get there in time. Meanwhile, we've got another force here. But I would say rather than defend Siwa, we're probably pretty ready to... Something's gone wrong in this province. I can't actually build watchtowers here. And if you just look how far my troops are allowed to move... I'm not sure what's going on. Like, clearly the game is acknowledging there are roads here of some description. But I should be able to move way further than this on paved roads, so something's gone a bit weird. But most importantly of all, the journey has come to an end for Spartacus the Good. He has returned home to retire here. Good old Ansira, Spartacus the Good can just retire here. We'll give him an academy, so we'll have a nice library to read and stuff. Ah, oh, Spartacus the Good. Everyone loves Spartacus the Good. Ah, uh, yes, I'd quite forgotten. We had a new person married into the family appearing in the campus get I didn't I? True Roman, been in the wars, confident commander, and flexible. Flexible's not great, otherwise that's decent. Now, oh, Cornelius, formerly Cornelius Brutus, Cornelius the Cruel. Uh, you're 55, probably time for you to hand over the retinue, my good man. Including, actually, famous people, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, we can hand over all of that. Lovely. So, he's now got nothing there. Probably this new guy. If we just kind of build him... Do you have an academy yet? You must presumably have a... Uh, yeah, you've got an academy there. So, that's fine. So, you have the retinue and probably Cornelius the Cruel. You, my good man, probably need to head somewhere less important. Because, yeah, I feel like Campus Getai could potentially be an important place to hold out against the Scythians if they ever attack us. So, how about you head round to... Ah, over here. This'll do. So, yeah, you can hold that frontier, just in case that ever becomes a problem. He can stay here, build an archery range, because we're literally out of anything else to build, sure. And you, Vibius Sulpicius, you stay here and guard us against the potential threat of the Scythians. Lovely. Now, as for this British army just hanging around here near Yuvavum, if we could just clear these guys out, and if there's a lot of warbands here, and potentially they're a little bit damaged too, Spurious the Ugly. 
I feel like you're not probably going to be attacked by the Dacians anytime imminently. So how about instead, what we do is we send you out to join up with this army right here. Because a Quincum is, it's small. It can take care of itself for the moment. Now this force is, ooh. This force is a bit small and old school to be honest. But if we just kind of pile some archers into here. Hand over, yeah, the mercenary hoplites. Bit more cavalry. Together with, yeah, just piling in those archers. Uh, what's here right now? Let's get rid of all this Astarte, or at least a bit of it. Right, not perfect, but I suspect it could do the job. So I'm just going to move you over to here. Build a nice watchtower so we can get a visibility of what's going on a bit better. And if the British want to come and attack Spurious the Ugly here, I think we can bloody handle them. Uh, you, by the way, just get back in the town. Lovely. And a Quincum is still defended enough. Because, yeah, the Dacians aren't coming in anytime soon. The Dacians are a little bit on the screwed side. And I'm keeping an eye on them with a spy anyway. So what I'm going to do is, yeah, Thaps is I'm going to leave for the time being. To see if these Scipiones decide they want to get a bit closer to me. If they do, I might decide to be in the fight. Or if they decide to attack me and we do this in the open field, that's better anyway. Down here on Lepkis Magna, I'm still training my troops. Or rather, I'm building the siege equipment, so that's fine. These guys are moving in, and where's the force? There you are, right. Don't get these guys off the boat just yet. Get them over here. We'll get those guys over to Kurta very, very soon indeed. So yeah, once all that's done, we should be able to take quite a lot of territory off the Scipiones pretty damn quickly. Now, as for the forces of Sicily, I wouldn't mind... Mm, I wouldn't mind holding them there for two turns just until the armor is done, then I can actually get them up to all silver weapons and silver armor. That'd be pretty damn cool, but... Julianus Vitinius isn't really the waiting around kind of guy. So instead what we're going to do is, well, we've got a good flu. We must have a decent fleet somewhere. That'll do for the time being. Get you around there. Julianus Vitinius, how about you head over to Carolus and liberate Sardinia? Let's just make sure the Scipiones have got nothing flipping left here. Though potentially you don't need to take the entire army because some of it could do with actually going back for a bit of retraining anyway. So yeah, just start merging some stuff together here. 1860. Oh, darn it. I shouldn't have merged those two together. That was a bit of a waste. Anyway, you went back over here to Masana, person with only eight strength left. And there we go. You can be retrained there. And not the largest army, but the important thing is Julianus Vitinius is traveling around with his Cretan friends. As long as he's with his Cretans, he's happy. That will be more than enough to take out Carolus. Now, yeah, the big thing. How are we going to take care of Julianus Vitentius? Because we do have the slight problem... That he's actually got... Hang on, if we just actually step out of here. So he's got more men than us. He's got plenty of heavy infantry. But the biggest problem we've got is he's got onagers and ballistas. So I can't just, like, bring my archers nearby and start peppering them. Because they'll fire on my archers in return with siege equipment. And it's going to be hard to kind of find a good point to break. I mean, hmm. They do have, like, Velites and a couple of Astarte. And Principes too won't exactly stand up to much. Ooh, and Barbarian Mercenaries. Okay, there might be a decent break point here. Uh, anything good about you, by the way? Been in the wars, he's going to be relatively difficult to kill. But nothing about morale, fine. Well, we may as well. Lentus Brutus, how are you doing? Do you have anything to do with morale at the minute? Yeah, you're in the pink as well, so you're actually quite hard to kill, which is nice. And any troops that get injured, yeah, you've got a whole bunch of people that help you actually get them back up and about. So that's useful. Yeah, we may as well give this a go. I think we should be able to do at least something to him, though we might take some damage in return thanks to those bloody onages and ballistae. Now, I would guess, I'm not sure, but I would guess my archers are probably going to be just, just in range. Because these guys have actually got, yeah, definitely, we're definitely in range there. Fine. So, we can actually get a good shot or two at these bastards before the fight begins properly. And also, of course, it's the AI. You've no idea which way they're going to decide to run. <laughs> Who bloody knows? They might decide to run one way or the other. You've no bloody clue. Now, over here, do I also have the same shot? Because, yeah, I've still got the same shot over there. And the final group up here. Because, yeah, you can see they're at a lower kind of elevation over there. So, as a result, I can still... Yeah, I can just still get a shot in. You know what that'll do, and then we'll also just kind of get all our cavalry floating around here. Got to be careful, though. If the Onagers chose to fire on the walls, they can actually make a breach. I'm not sure if, uh, actually, technically, there's nothing to stop the Judah actually breaking the walls, defeating me and going taking the plaza, and actually winning the town right now. I doubt they're going to, but they theoretically could now. Begin, send the cavalry outside. My archers all begin firing, and which way the Judah are going to start running. They're going to run. Ah, they're running sort of backwards, which is a shame. But that does mean we can get some really good hits in on them right now while they're repositioning. Because, yeah, right now, oh, yeah, they are just being shredded while they try and reposition to face us. 
Uh, question is, ah, the battle line's so long it's going to be really difficult to actually get around the back of their onagers. Um, yeah, that's going to be a bit tricky to do. They're falling further back. Archers have still got shots on something, probably these Hastati, who are doing pretty bloody, yeah, they're kind of doing pretty bloody badly. Down to 160, 156, 15. Ah, this will do. My horses could just get out more quickly. I might be able to slam into the front of these guys and do some really good work. We've also got, we've got Velitez there. We've got the starter there. We've just taken a load of damage. Ridiculous amounts of damage. They're drawing up in this sort of a direction. Um, this group over here has formed the Testudo. Fine. So we need to stop shooting them because we're not going to do much good here. Uh, they think they've fallen back too. Are they still in range? They are just good. So you guys, go for these guys. And you guys go for... Actually, yeah, Barbarian Mercenaries. That would be a good break point on one of the wings. So go for them. And you guys over here can just kind of keep going for whoever you fancy. Let's get the horses out of the city for a second here. These Hastati are taking a lot of damage very quickly. Yep, this all works for me. Is everyone outside now? Yeah, everyone's outside. Let's just see if we can start a break right here. Because they've taken a load of arrow fire. They've got to be feeling nervous. They're trying to fall back right now. And... Can we even get into them? Good enough. Shaken. Wavering. And I don't actually want to kind of ride them down. I just want to get them. Yeah, they've broken. Right, get the horses out of there. I don't want another charge. The horses are taking a bunch of damage. Probably from our own archers. But that's fine. We've got stables. We can fix them later. It's more important just to start some units. Breaking. So, get away from there. Auxilia, probably a few units actually threw in their peeler as well. Uh, right, so, things looking good right now. Archers still have shops somewhere. Something's moving forward a bit. These guys are still going to be in range of my archers. This all works for me. Fine. Are those, what are those at the back? Those are, oh, those are started that have regrouped. Fine. Uh, I'm guessing the oranges are going to start trying to take shots at my cavalry. And what's going to be difficult is, can I get around the back? Possibly. What's going on over here as well? We've got over here, prink pairs behind. Mm, those units together are going to be a little bit on the tricky side. How about over, yeah, over here works. Come over to this side and then we'll see if we can just hit this front line. It feels like there's a lot of kind of badly damaged stuff over here. They're moving around. Yeah, I can actually get them to move by just moving my cavalry. And when they move, they're torn apart by the archers more effectively. So that works pretty well. So lots of dead red on the field already. They're moving to kind of try and mirror my cavalry's movement. But over here, Prinky Pair's taking a lot of damage. Barbarian, okay. They'll break really easily. So I'd say let's go over here. And then if we can, swing over to the other side. Uh, you two guys, change your fire over to the Prinky Pairs, please. And now I think these guys will break immediately. Because we'll just hit them with multiple cavalry. I'm going to have you actually move over here in preparation for the break. The break's already happened. Prink pairs around here are going to struggle immediately. They break. Back here if we can. Into early legionaries. Can we just go straight into this? Can we roll them up? No. These guys will always hold better. Get out of there for a second. We've done some good work on this flank. We need to get out of there for just a second. Yeah, guys, guys, guys. Back, 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 back. Over here, over here, over here. Good work, but no. Guys. Why are we doing that? Why are we doing the thing you're doing? I need you to walk away. Oh, wait. There you go. Now, while you're over here, take out these guys, actually, and uh, make sure you reposition the archers. Don't go over there. Don't shoot my own horses, please. Thank you. Right. Life looking good at the minute, at least. Uh, damaged legionaries. The Roman... Ooh. The Roman leader's coming in. I think he's trying to get on top of these guys. If he is... You know what? Screw it. Just shoot him. I think we can probably just outrun him, really. Just start going for him. And now we can basically just get some free hits on the Roman leader. So just shoot him in the back and the side. He'll start taking some damage pretty quickly. Nice. Um, these guys have run barbarian mercenaries to charge forward. You know what? You want to do that, you go right forward. I think you're going to break almost immediately because you're flipping mercenaries. Uh, they're wavering to... Yeah, broken. Fine. Now get over... No, guys, get... Further away, don't actually take on the leader. Fine, whatever. Right, get these guys back out of here. We're losing horses pretty quickly, but this is all fine, really. Uh, my archers are... Ah, we're basically out of arrows. <laughs> That's the problem right now. We're basically out of flipping arrows. Uh, so, yeah, we can't actually do any more firing on them. So, they're down to 51, so we can't do much more. Ah! The onagers are indeed starting to attack. Right, uh, that's more of a concern. We need to basically... 
You sure you want to do this? All right, well, they are auxiliar. Eh, uh, give it a charge, why not? And that's that's not a charge. That's not a charge. And wavering and going to be broken momentarily. But they can do a bunch of damage to my horses in the meantime. Bloody hell. Um, Get them out of there. That's annoying. Yeah, modern troops. They won't... Oh, and there's the peeler as well and broken. That is a shame. Okay. Where, where do we stand right now? Like, I don't have... Where's this unit of cavalry? This unit of cavalry is way over flipping here. I wouldn't mind taking out, if I can, the blisters. If I can just get into the rear of them with this unit over here, I'd be pretty happy with that. Uh, those archers have got another shot at something, which is nice. So, auxilia going down pretty quickly. Lovely. Anything that comes too close to the gates is screwed. How are we doing, by the way? We have taken out... 60% of them to 5% of ours, but I don't think we can actually finish them off. So we're going to have to, uh, yeah, not actually wrap up this battle today. For once, when I said I don't think we can win this battle, it actually turned out to be true. On this occasion, I actually said, no, we probably can, but no, no, we couldn't. I'm out of arrows. I could probably just bring out my infantry, but there's not really much point. There's no point in kind of wasting it when they might attack me immediately afterwards. I mean, big question right now really is just, is the Armored Roman General going to help out the Ballista when they come under attack from the horses? So we'll have to just see about that, because sometimes he does and sometimes he doesn't. Now, something's trying to get involved here. Something clearly fancies getting a peeler shot in. So I'm just going to get around here a little bit more out of the way, and yeah. Yeah, he sees something, and he's not sure, and I wouldn't mind just getting the Onagers. If I just get the Onagers, I consider that a victory. We'll get the Onagers, get the Onagers, get the Onagers, get the Onagers. Right, into the Onagers. Go, 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 go. Onagers, weirdly, like, they really struggle to break. They're really good at not breaking, which is unfortunate. I can get a proper charge in, which is good. So they're down to, yeah, down to 48, 46. They will hold very nicely. More people coming in. Come on, waver, waver. Break, break, you bastards. No, sorry, it's my lot that were wavering. I was misreading that. Oh, well, never mind. There's there's a lot of troops still here, and these guys are out on their own. And sadly, they'll now take a lot of casualties retreating directly through the enemy line, which is a shame. But I think we'll actually get a fair few of these guys back, just thanks to the physician and the battlefield surgeon I've got with my general. So at this point, I think everyone's actually back in the city. So as soon as he goes into the city and the doors close behind him, we'll be able to end the battle, and that will actually be officially a tie, which I will take quite happily under the circumstances because we've massively weakened him. So get in here, close the gates behind him, and as soon as the gates close, close the gates guys, come on, there we go, lovely. Now I think that should be job done, it will actually check that with you, so exit the battle, your sally's been successful, you may leave, there we go. Our army has not prevailed today, but then the same can be said about the enemy. Very true indeed, so we've lost 200 men, they have lost, well less than that, 146, and they have lost 1,800, so definitely... We're doing better there, and... Oh, no, sorry, I'd forgotten about this. Yeah, obviously, um, I don't get to heal any casualties during a sally force, because, like, the casualties are outside the city walls. So, obviously, I wouldn't get them back, because they're literally out where the enemy are, so I can't get to them. So, as a result, I don't get any casualties healed. So, I've lost a, quite a bit of my cavalry, but my archers are untouched. That's the important thing for now. Yeah, if he tries to attack now, I'd say my archers can tear him apart pretty easily, so that's pretty good. Meanwhile, my large force down here can start making some moves. Who are you? We've got Servius Julius here. Another large force, but it's old school. We do ever have a whole bunch of... Ooh, we have a nice easy pick off of a general right here. Always happy with that. And, oh, you retreated in a very intelligent fashion, unfortunately. Because now if I attack him again, I'll have to take on Servius Julius's army, which is a shame. Could I get over to... I could get over to Narbo Martius today. But if I do, then this force is nearby, this force is in range. I can find myself surrounded pretty quickly. I'd rather stay away from this force and actually just start moving north and see if I can take Lugdunum. So, Decius Julius, you'll be driven back pretty quickly, probably into Lugdunum, in fact. So I'm just going to attack you now. And as spec- Ah! This is interesting. Uh, is he- No! Yes. I don't think he's quite there, and you are- Yeah, you're where the, the faction air is. Do I have a spine? No, I don't have a spine there yet. Uh, you get in there, thank you. So now we can figure out what the faction air is like. He's- Okay, ooh, doubtful courage though. Okay, this is good. Yeah, he's not great. He's alright, but he's not great. Uh, so what we need to do now is, yeah. Now I can attack and get... Yeah, I can totally get there. So now I can probably even get my reinforcements over there. Uh, yeah, they'll surely be able to get around the corner. So actually I can get a few more people in this army. At least one more unit of actual proper infantry. 
So you join up with Publius Sergius. There we are. Bit of a stronger army. Now go attack this guy, and he has to fight. Oof. Decius Julius. He's um he's got a slightly fat face, and he is confident in defence, understanding of strategy, but bored by the races and trusty. So oh, he's 16 years old. Oh. He's eaten a lot of pies. Like his 16 years on this earth have been dedicated to eating pies. And uh, tragically, yeah, your force is already pretty damn battered. It must have been one of the forces that attacked me on the bridge on that occasion when I was taking Marseille, I suppose. But yeah, this will be a good army to pick off. Because when it joins up to other armies, it might be alright. But yeah, if we can just pick it off now, that'll be great. So, let's get this underway. This should be a pretty clean mop-up, to be honest. TGA, he's not even got any archers with him. So, pretty much, we can just bring our archers up and tear them apart that way. Right, nothing dramatic here. Infantry on the front line. Auxilia forming a nice box around the archers. Start the battle. Head over here and just start picking them apart when we can. And, of course, technically, this battle is actually taking place pretty much to seize control of this here road. So, of course, this road, we just follow it north. We'll get to look to them. I don't know if we can see it from here. No, I think it's kind of... Possibly kind of get the camera up a little bit. Thanks to the, the hill slope, I might be able to... No. Look to them is to the north. We can just seize control of this road off these bastards. And I think we've already pretty much got it off there. And then, yeah. We can pretty much just march straight north. Take look to them and reunite Alessia with the rest of the Empire. Right, and all my archers have a shot. Now we just see if we can bait them forward. But yeah, basic mercenaries are going to struggle here. In fact, as we're probably going to run out of archers here sooner or later, probably the best thing I can do is actually move forward just a tiny bit more here. Because what I would like to target is the leader. So everyone just run forward a little bit here. This is just, yeah, Roman cavalry and, yeah, uh, barbarian cavalry. That's fine. I've got auxilia on the flanks just in case. So everyone around here, forward a little bit. Do you guys have a shot at the Roman general? You do. Everyone on the Roman general, please. I would like him taken out. He's the only one that's in any way dangerous. Right. All arrows used up by the looks of things. And we are down to 33 on the Roman general. And yeah, the front line has been absolutely devastated as well. Let's just move forward a bit. Release the warhounds. That'll actually do a surprising amount of damage. And then after we're done with that, we should just be able to pretty much wipe this out with a peel of toss. So everyone just run forward so they don't kind of catch us off guard with a cavalry charge. Now, war dogs around the edge here. If you can just release the warhounds over at the Roman cavalry, who are at least a little bit dangerous for the moment. And ooh, no, no, no. If the light auxilia want to come forward, that's fine. We can take care of them. Release the dogs, the light auxilia. Right, release the hounds. And as soon as we get close enough, that should be fine. So release the dogs. Yep, hounds are definitely on their way. Right, everyone out. Let the dogs take care of this. They will struggle to throw their javelins in when they're dealing with dogs. Yep, they're already backing off, in fact. Lovely. And now the dogs will literally just eat their way through the light auxilia. Perfect. And of course, because some of these guys are stuck in combat, all of them are. So these guys on this side aren't allowed to toss javelins anymore because they all have to focus their attention on the melee fight they're now technically in. And of course, remember, the dogs are basically freebies. As long as the handlers don't die in any way, then yeah, the dogs basically will just auto-replenish, which is very, very useful indeed. Now, may as well get some cavalry around here to see if we can just cause a bit of a break because the middle of the line looks very, very weak to me. And the dogs can actually do a pretty good job moving on to something else and keeping them busy while we hit them with the cavalry charge. Because dogs are basically just a really free, easy, cheap way of pinning something. Because now I can just get around the back of these light auxilia because they're busy with the dogs. And as a result, effectively, yeah, um, this is pinned without any risk to my actual um, anything, really. Because, yeah, my infantry just need to expose itself. You guys are shaken and will momentarily break because you're flipping. Yep, there we are. In comes the general. He's coming forward. And if you just want to try and follow me straight into Peeler range, that'd be great. So just bring him back a bit. That's right. Come forward. Come forward. I want him to just walk. Walk in a gentle way. That's right. Here we go. Lovely barbarian. Oh, you didn't. You did not want to follow me here. Guys, don't. Okay, not while my flipping horses are right there, please. Thank you. Right, get these Romans round here. We can probably just slam them into these guys. Yeah, 54 versus 62 and my cavalry are vastly superior. Take out these guys as well. They'll break immediately, of course. There we go. Shaken and... Line's kind of drawing up together. Take you out. Is the Roman cavalry trying to come in here? Yep, you're breaking as well. Lead them back over here. If we can lead the cavalry over to the front line, that'll be useful. 
Now they're forming, yeah, a weird little kind of like a marching column thing. All right, fine. If that's what you want to do, let's just bring you guys forward here into range of the Pila. So everyone forward fast as you like and get the auxilia around the edge, please. Let's just get the auxilia forward ready to kind of charge in. Now the Pilas are all being tossed. These guys will collapse almost immediately. The other guys move forward to fill the gap. And it's all going to hell immediately. And any peeler left over, toss at the leader over there. But honestly, I think we're pretty good now. Uh, at this point, Auxilia either side of him. We basically just close the jaws of death onto the leader himself over there. And also make sure we have got some cavalry nearby ready to ride him down when he breaks. So I want to make sure he actually dies. So we'll just get some cavalry over here. We'll get some more cavalry over here. Just make absolutely sure. He's already wavering, so he will break momentarily. And nope, he's dead. And this battle is apparently not over yet. And there it is. Good. I was wondering what was bloody left. Yeah, that's fine. I think you've been killed enough at this point. End the battle. Now that leaves the door to Lugdunum, I think. Yeah. Wide flipping open. And there's not much here, to be honest. The Factionaire. We can actually pick up a Factionaire right now. He has got... Yeah, not much. Let's go. Why not? Let's actually... Oh my goodness. My spies have infiltrated the settlement and the gates will be open. We can just walk in. Oh... Well done, well done, Sergius. Good work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Siege of Alessia may not have gone quite as well as I'd hoped, but we have got our revenge. We have cut a path through to Lugdunum, and we can go and take out that city, and also, as a little bonus, take out the factionaire of the Julii, Julianus Julius. Bloody Julianus Julius. Fake Julianus. They're all bloody fake Julianus. Apart from Julianus Fatinius, he's the real Julianus, of course. We can take them out, and also, hopefully, be able to clear out Alessia, though I suspect... These guys might decide to come in as reinforcements, but there's no general there. And after that, well, these towns are looking pretty unguarded to me. I think we could take pretty much all of, yeah, ancient Gaul, modern day France off the Julii pretty simply at this point. They are running out of steam very quickly. And as for the Scipiones, I think total and utter extermination is the only answer there. Because those bastards, those utter, utter bastards killed Captain Nero. And I'm not standing for it. So, all of that is to come soon, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Rome. Total War. Thank you very much. And goodbye. Here we go. Farmers are starting to plant some fish. They put some fish eggs into the... Wait, I was, I meant that as a joke. But no, fish do actually come out of fish eggs. That was a very badly thought out joke. You managed to get yourself stuck in the wall, didn't you? Maybe we should just, like, never ever open this here wall. There's a lot of mole people back there.